If we're being honest, pop-ups kind of suck. I don't like them, you don't like them, and most importantly, customers don't like them. In fact, in 2016, there was a survey that found that 50% of customers rate pop-ups as very annoying, and the other 50% weren't far off, which, isn't really that surprising. But what is surprising is that despite this, many companies are still using them. And the reason that they're still used so often is because when they're used right, they work. Even with half of customers strongly disliking pop-ups, they're still extremely effective at growing email lists, promoting content, and increasing lead generation. But the reason most pop-ups can fail to convert is that they can often feel intrusive or spammy. So today we're gonna to look at how we can avoid this, how we can still use pop-ups, but make them less of a pain point and more of an extension of our website and our brand. So stick around. All right, so three ways that we're gonna improve website pop-ups. We're gonna make the pop-up fit our brand. We're gonna give our customer a proper offer and we're gonna make sure the context and timing is right. And so that's it. And yet there are so many examples of pop-ups and offers across the web that look past these three simple points. So let's jump into each of these now. Number one, make the pop-up fit your brand. Banner blindness is a user's tendency to brush past elements on a website that look like ads because if a customer thinks that the pop-up is just an offer from another brand or just straight up looks cheap, then it shouldn't be too surprising that they aren't going to follow through with your offer. For example, when we get an email from Apple, the style used helps us know that it's from Apple. But when we get an email from a spammer trying to impersonate Apple, the fonts are a little wonky or the margin feels a little off, so it can be pretty easy to see through the lie. And in the same way, when we use a pop-up that has a different font, different button styles, or a different brand feel, it immediately makes us want to click away. And so therefore we want the pop-up to fit the style of the rest of the website, because when your website feels coherent, with all pieces being a part of the larger brand, everything looks and feels more trustworthy. So the font is the same, the colors are the same, and even the style of the box is taken into design consideration. So if you're using an external service for your pop-ups, you wanna get the design as close to your brand as possible. Number two, give your customer a proper offer. So it currently feels like every second website that we visit wants us to sign up to its newsletter just because it asks us nicely. But just asking customers to join a newsletter is not a good offer. In fact, it's not really an offer at all. So if you're not giving customers a good reason to sign up, then all they think you're asking for is to send spam to the email. So how do you ask for an email sign up? You don't. You instead give customers an offer so tempting, it would be crazy for them not to subscribe. So a bad pop-up title might be sign up to our newsletter and a good pop-up title might be get valuable free weekly resources. But a great pop-up title might be learn the three top sales mistakes your e-commerce business might be making. Okay, maybe that's a little bit wordy, but the difference here is that the more specific and straight to your customers you're talking to, the more likely your customer is gonna connect with the offer and then act. And that only works if you know who your customer is and therefore know what you should be offering to them. Now the next question to ask here is, do you have some sort of resource or goodie that you can offer customers who come to your website? Because if you do, it makes sense to offer that. If customers get some sort of immediate payoff, then they're gonna be a lot more likely to want to sub in. But if you don't have a resource, you just want to craft your copy to convince customers of the value that you bring, which basically means write a good title. And this is exactly the same with e-commerce. If you can offer customers 10% off, then you should be doing just that. But if not, you can just let customers know that they can subscribe for future product releases or future limited time offers or sales. Number three, make sure the context and timing is right. So Gary Vee has a great quote about context, which is that if content is king, then context is God. And he's pretty spot on. If you have the perfect message, but you're giving it to customers on the wrong platform or in the wrong setting, then your message might still not land. And so how can we apply this to websites and pop-ups? Well, it's important that we're showing customers the right pop-up offer on the right page at the right time. And so the worst case scenario might be showing customers a pop-up after 30 milliseconds on your homepage, because nothing else screams desperation more than asking for an email before a customer even realizes where they are. So here's a better scenario. Showing customers a relevant pop-up on a blog post page after five seconds of viewing the page. And so why is this better? Well, because first we're making sure that they're interested and not scaring them off before they are. And also because we can craft our offer around that content or by delivering more of the same content. And using that same logic, it doesn't make sense to be showing a pop-up on every single page of your website. You're gonna wanna show a pop-up on your contact page where customers are trying to connect with you anyway. So the most common pages to show pop-ups are on blog posts, case studies, resources, and videos. 
But other than these pages, it really depends on the kind of website that you have to know whether you should add pop-ups to other key pages because you have less context behind what your customer is looking for. So if you have a customer who lands on your homepage, could you already show them a specific offer or do they first have to go down to a more specific page such as a customer vertical or a resource page? So depending on how niched your business or product is, it might make sense to put a pop-up across more of your pages or just stick to the ones where you'll commonly find pop-ups. So let's summarize. The way we're gonna make our pop-ups more effective is through focusing on three key points. Number one, make the pop-up fit your brand. Number two, give your customers a proper offer. And number three, make sure the context and timing is right. Nail these and you'll be a lot closer to maximizing how many signups you get through your website and therefore maximizing how many customers you're continuing the conversation with. If you wanna learn more about how to maximize the results of your Webflow website, I have a newsletter about exactly that so find that link in the description otherwise let me know in the comments what you want to see a future video on and i'll see you on the next one